What's up guys, it's your lazy monkey here and today I'm going to be giving you a video of Check It or, you know, Red Power 2, Industrial Craft or, and uh, Equivalent Exchange. Uh, this, is this is a tutorial showing you how to make infinite lava and pouring it into geothermal energies, the energy, con uh, energy collectors and stuff um, to provide energy for your whole house pretty much that's based on Industrial Craft, not for Red Power 2. but this is for industrial craft, and I'm pretty sure you can make the same way for red power, depending on the different types of machines that you use. So, anyway, let's start off this tutorial, this simple tutorial, and you could easily get the resources. So let's just say these two are the most expensive out of all of them. So this is nine diamonds essentially, and this is about five, six diamonds to start out. Actually, seven if you want to put the diamond in there to condense more, but six. So these are going to cost six diamonds. And once you have this, you can condense more diamonds. So essentially, you're going to want seven diamonds to start off with, and you can make all the rest of the things. And then this is pretty easy to make. It's just a timer. It's just, you know, it's annoying to make, but you only need one. And just connect it right to the deployer. The deployer is part of Red Power 2, and once you connect it, it's also really easy to make, so you should have no trouble doing it. Just look up deployer, and right-click on it, or just press R, I mean. Not right-click. And see, it's easy, easy and simple to make, and just pretty much does what you would do if you right click. So if you had blocks in there, it would place a block down. Anyway, this is the pump which you need to uh, collect the lava which is going through these waterproof pipes and inside the tanks. So once these geothermal generators are full, the tanks are going to be full, uh, are going to uh, get lava pumped into them, and so you can store lava too, which is great, and it's really awesome and nice to use. And obviously, these are going to be necessary, and a few wooden pipes, stone or cobblestone pipes, and one advanced uh, wooden pipe. And it's honestly not very difficult. So let's just begin this process. So, let's just say you're just wandering around, and you just made a recently new home. <sighs> extremely professional, full of uh, realism. Look, there's glass. Yeah, it's extremely hard to find glass wood oh my god such expensive building material regardless uh, you just made your house you were walking around got a lot of resources from caving got enough diamonds and you're just on your way to starting to make your extremely effective and amazing journey of industrial craft and if you're playing tech it's the world of tech so you could either start by making this in your house or if you want space you can go by making it outside your house so this is just going to be an uh, example of where you want your geothermal. So let's just say that's where you want your energy uh, units to go. And also if you want some tanks, you can get some tanks too by putting it here. So let's just say I want a few tanks right over here. Yeah, that should do it. And then I put three geothermal gener generators. That's what we're going to work with. So before, once you have this set up, you're good. You can indent it as in a wall, and if you have a bigger building, then you're fine. So, what you want to do is put in the middle a uh, redstone torch and a, uh, an engine. I would recommend you make a few engines because you're going to need a few of them, and you're just going to want to connect them with uh, waterproof pipes. Um, a wooden one and a cobblestone or, or uh, just a stone one. That should be fine. So put the stone one on here, and the rest can be cobbly stones. And you should do fine. And if you want to extend it a little bit more, that's fine, but it just depends on how much how much you want to conserve space. This doesn't matter at all if it's connected to the uh, tank, because it's going to be stored anyway. So now, we can start building to the bulk of the buildings. But first, I'm going to need to get some transport pipes. If I can spell correctly, Jesus. Alright, uh, you can use stone or cobblestone regardless, anyone, doesn't matter. And let's just go to the back here. Since this is where our machine is going to be, let's just work from the other way around. There you started your building, and I lied. I'm going to need another uh, another waterproof pipe. Oh my god, I'm so prepared. Actually, that doesn't even matter. Honestly, whatever. Ah, No. You're just going to drag this out here, and this is where this can start. Now, depending on how you want to start this, you're going to want to put a energy condenser. You can put it anywhere, but you want this is the main thing part of the equivalent exchange that's going to be producing all the lava. And if you want, you could put just resources inside that can be trans 
uh, that can be converted into uh, lava buckets, or you could just put in a energy collector that costs nine diamonds, about, but it's totally worth it, and I definitely recommend you at least getting one, then you can upgrade it later once you have enough resources. And a uh, pipe that's going to be powered. And the most important part, don't forget the lava bucket inside so the energy collector can start producing energy inside this condenser. So this can go inside and it's gonna be go in, it's gonna go into a deployer. So now we're gonna need a timer. That's part of red power too. Uh, uh, the deployer is also part, part, part of red power too, so and they're really easy to make, so honestly you should have no trouble making it. And you want a pump about right there. Now, since we're not going to need these anymore, I'm going to use stone as an easy example to show, like, just to cover the places of where you want stone to be. You're essentially going to want there to be two indents because it just it just collects more lava that way for some reason. So the pump's going to be powered uh, by, let's just say, three. You can have two, but it's just faster with three, or if you want four. But for the purpose of this, I'm going to get three because it's it's fine either way. It works, so no complaints there. Put a redstone torch here to power these two, and just one, and then this one right here. That should power it, I think. No, thought so. All right, but then you just put one here. That's fine too. You can use levers if you don't want to use redstone torches. That's fine as well. And the final finishing product, you're gonna connect that with that. So this is pretty much just the start of the build. Now we're not going to need that anymore, or wooden transport pipe. But we're going. What we are going to need is a, a is an advanced wooden transport pipe, and those are also easy to make. It's just uh, a pipe with redstone on top, so it's just you know. So <clears throat> work on the side that doesn't have the timer on it. So let's just say this this has a timer on. It, so you want to make it here an advanced wooden pipe is going to go here. So we're going to need a bucket as well, so you can craft that out of iron. That's really simple to make. And you put it inside here. It says these items are required, so it's only going to filter those items out of the buckets and not the lava buckets. And this also needs to be powered, but since we have a torch here, we're not going to need uh, another redstone torch, so we can just put an engine here. And then... Oh God. And for the rest of the thing, you can use stone or cobblestone. I'll use cobblestone because it's easy to make. And it doesn't honestly matter at all. Connected back here. So the buckets that are going to go back from here are going to go all the way back into the energy condenser. So now that we've started the bulk of the build, we are pretty much done. You're going to want to set this to at least 7 seconds because to give it enough time for the lava to travel through. Or you can set it to whatever, whatever uh, one you want. And then we are pretty much done. This is the build and it's complete. So let's just say we give it some diamonds. Yay. Let's just say two. That's a little bit too much, but whatever. Whatever. It's gonna be poured into this deployer. And as you can see this deployer is gonna be pumped out. And see it's gonna use it. And then the advanced wooden pipe is going to take that bucket <clears throat> and travel it all the way down to here to produce more buckets. So once you get it started, it should be fine. And as you can see, the lava is getting you know, taken through the pipe, uh, the pump, sorry, and the pipes are traveling it, uh, traveling it through and putting it inside our little home, professional home that we made. And running the three generators. So each one of these generators can make 20 energy each. And the best part about this is that you can add another generator here or here or here and just keep it going and add and add it into a continuous loop to make more energy. And then if you want to power these up, just put cables down and then two machines. So it's a really easy way to get started uh, producing a lot of energy really, really fast. And it only takes about, let's just say about maximum of 15 diamonds. You're not even going to need that much. That's not even one dark matter and you should be fine on producing a lot of energy. So, this is the easy and simple tutorial. Tell me what you like. Like it and subscribe if you want more videos. Or if you want a tutorial on something else, let me know. Add in the comment below. It's like, hey, 
Uh, I want you to make this tutorial on how to get this easily, because this is what I like to do. I play Tekken for the uh, building reasons, to make everything easy and com compact and simple, while my friends like to, you know, do it for the exploration, and I'm fine. It's fine. Either people like doing do they have their own style of playing. Anyway, <clears throat> regardless, this is a tutorial, so hope you, li hope you liked it, and I'll see you guys later.